guys are hopeless. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things every anime fan hates. Ah! Answer me, who are you? Ah, it's Big Green! Let that child alone. You're already dead. For this list, we'll be looking at the tropes across the anime industry that fans have come to despise over the years. Which of these conventions do you wish would just die already? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. I've done it. I'm Devil Man. Number 10, Incomplete Stories. <laughs> Cliffhangers are all well and good, and they can certainly be effective when hyping up the possibility for a sequel. The only problem is, when that sequel doesn't show up, the whole thing feels like a slap in the face. We've seen certain shows, a lot of whom performed poorly, have money thrown at them in order to dish out sequel after sequel, and yet some of the most well-regarded anime in the medium can't get a second season. <laughs> Seriously, there's no end of fantastic anime that has just been left in the dust with no conclusion whatsoever. You can breathe on the check. Number nine, oh, bad dubs. I got myself close to Caslon's right hand man, Dallas. That is so dangerous. Not that we're gonna restart the sub versus dub wars or anything, but there is an argument to be made for the quality of a dub and how it directly relates to a watcher's enjoyment. I've done it. I'm Devil Man. There are some incredibly talented actors in the business of providing English dubs, and on occasion they even surpass the original. But that's not always the case. Imagine someone wanting to experience a great anime with a dub that just falls way short of the original. Ah! Answer me, who are you? Ah, it's Big Green! Let that child alone. Hell, sometimes it's not even the voice direction, sometimes it's the translations. Like when they slip in Western references for absolutely no bloody reason. You got a stick up your ass? Or are you one of those dumbass Gamergate creep shows? <laughs> Number eight, calling things anime when they're not. The rumors are true. Okay, we have an axe to grind with Netflix. Let's face it, the term anime has been abused in recent years, with Netflix making constant announcements for new anime series, which end up just being produced in America. Anime is Japanese animation. If something is anime inspired, it is not anime. This is deceptive marketing, as they're latching onto something that's already popular and appropriating the term for something completely different. We're not saying these shows are bad necessarily, but don't you think it does them more justice if they're praised as great cartoons? Have more faith in yourselves! Number 7, Live Action Remakes Sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're abominations. None of them are as good as the anime. Appealing to a wider audience is one thing, but more often than not, condensing an anime story into a two-hour time frame with none of the visual wonder just diminishes the enjoyment. What are you trying to do, tickle me to death? Don't turn your back on me! You're already dead. Japan themselves are pretty huge fans of doing this, and even then, barely any of their live-action undertakings are worthy of mention. So, what chance do Western versions have? Does the world really need more Dragon Ball evolutions? We think not. Doing good. <laughs> Number six, censorship. I'll pummel his head flatter than 
the shape of the earth, Mr. Helmeppo! Both dubs and the original are guilty of this, and while they have been implemented for the greater good on a few occasions, most of the time it's wholly unwarranted and unwanted. These can extend to removing raunchy scenes, cutting away from gore, inappropriate content, etc. It's a bit of a tightrope since too much censorship can end up dulling what was supposed to be an intense scene, with some series going off the deep end by blacking out or filtering the mature content. Fans want it raw! On your feet. Mr. Pegasus would like to have a few words with you. Number 5 Anime Original Endings. <laughs> Ugh, not these. Sometimes they can't be avoided due to budgetary reasons, other times they're a creative decision that benefits the anime slightly better, but most of the time they are nothing but trash. There are so many of these conclusions that either feel rushed, unsatisfying, or undermine all the effort put into the build-up. <laughs> The real kicker is when these occur when the source material is already done, dusted, and waiting to be adapted. <laughs> Number 4 Terrible CGI. <laughs> 3D is a tricky tool but it has been proven to be effective in anime when used sparingly or with a high enough production quality. Take those away and what do you get? An eyesore that sucks all the fun away. We've seen it in many shows. Everything is going along swimmingly and poof, along comes a CGI monstrosity that ruins the atmosphere, doesn't gel well with the surrounding visuals, and just generally brings the whole series down. Number 3 Recap Episodes has there ever been a bigger waste of time and effort than a recap episode? Aside from the occasional extra bit of narration, the whole thing is a clip show meant to catch fans up to date on what they had already been watching. Maybe the odd viewer might appreciate it, but for the most part, this just seems like a way to fill a series runtime without having to do anything new. It's especially painful when it occurs so early on in the series, after only a few episodes. Number 2 Low Production Qualities It can be a moment, a battle, or in some instances, an entire series. But when subpar animation strikes, everything takes a plummet. Stocky character models, poor artwork, misplaced music, weak transitions, all of it is anime poison. It can take a universally loved series and make it a laughing stock. It can wreck the chances of a new series finding its feet, or it can make a terrible show a million times worse than it already is. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos, or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Filler some people will say it's a necessary evil in order to give the manga time to get ahead. Others will say that when your non-canon content starts getting its own spin-offs, then you've gone too far. Shonen are infamous for this, with some getting whole arcs filled with stories and fights that are often lackluster at best. But if you shoot me, then you'll also have roasted kami under glass! 
<laughs> Would it really be so bad to just take a break and not push out garbage episodes? Just look at what happened to some of anime's biggest shonens. Those filler episodes are a permanent stain on their names, clinging to them like an anime disease. We want to pretend it's not there, but we can't. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.